All right, over the past few weeks, I've been banging out training after training on social media marketing agency, step-by-step -step blueprints that you can implement to be successful with your social media marketing agency. Share with you the lessons that I've learned from going from zero with my agency to 50K plus per month profit. Now, we've got another one today because I'm gonna be sharing with you five insanely profitable SMMA services, services you can offer your clients to make them a ton of money and take your agency to a 10K month plus mark. Now, here's the thing about services. Most people are so unoriginal when it comes to services. Maybe they don't know any better, or maybe it's just a lack of will to think outside the box. When most people decide to start a social media marketing agency, they go right ahead and they pick Facebook ads. Cool, but so have another thousand other agencies. I'm not saying Facebook ads is not a right choice. I'll actually talk about that and give you my thoughts in just a bit but there are a ton of other services that are available to you that can actually make you stand out. And in my channel, I talk a lot about the importance of picking an irresistible offer to stand out from the noise, cut through the clutter and get incredible results with your agency in record-breaking time. So without further ado, let's get right into these services. But a little caveat, these are mostly for e-com businesses, right? So for e-com agencies. If you're not new to my channel, you obviously know that I'm a big fan of the e-commerce space for a number of reasons. However, if you have a local business agency for whatever reason, we don't really know. Uh, but if you have a local business agency, most of these services could still apply and you could still make yourself and your clients a ton of money. So let's go right into it. Now, the full service is the most typical one, which is paid ads. Now, there are two routes that you can take with this. You can either do Facebook and Google ads, and I'll talk about that in just a second, or you could do more of the newer platforms, more of the, the, the more exciting platforms uh, nowadays, which are Snapchat, TikTok, and Pinterest ads. Now, I'll explain in just a bit why, in my opinion, those are two very different routes and two very different value offerings. But first, going with the more traditional route, the Facebook and Google ads route, one big piece of advice that I've learned during my agency journey is make sure that you have both in place for your clients. Nowadays, you cannot really trust Zuckerberg. Uh, you cannot really trust Facebook. Facebook is banning ad accounts left and right uh, for the weirdest reasons, right? We literally had one of our clients, they got their account banned on Black Friday. We eventually got it back three days later because we had a Facebook rep and we had done nothing wrong. But you wanna keep in mind that Facebook is banning ad accounts left and right and so you wanna protect yourself. And the way you protect yourself is you have something else making the money, right? So for, for us, it was incredibly vital to have that Google Ads component because while our ad account was banned on Facebook, we're still making them a ton of money on Google, right? And so I could still sleep at night, but that is why ideally you wanna make sure that you have both platforms going. Now you could be doing 80% of the ad spend on Facebook and maybe 20% just on Google ads, right? It doesn't have to be a 50-50 split. For us, for example, we use Facebook mainly for cold audiences. Obviously we have retargeting campaigns as well on Facebook, but for cold audiences, we can usually get a lower CPC, a cost per click uh, on Facebook than on Google. And so Google, we mainly use for retargeting. We have obviously done uh, cold audiences for Google as well. Uh, we've done displays, search, uh, shopping ads. We've done pretty much everything on Google at this point. But if you go down that traditional route, that is the way you want to think about it. Now, the other route is more of the, the flashier route. And the reason why I say that is because if you pick a newer platform like Snapchat ads or TikTok ads or Pinterest ads, uh, you can actually use that as part of your unique selling point, right? Because most brands are not doing Snapchat ads or TikTok ads just yet. Now, obviously there are a massive pros to this, but there are also big cons to this. And the main disadvantage being that in a sale, the way you wanna think about it is there are two hurdles to a sale, right? The first hurdle is, do I need this service? Do I need this product? And the second hurdle is, is Jaime the best person to deliver the service? Is Jaime's agency, is your agency the best agency to deliver this service, right? Once you get a prospect to jump over those two hurdles, you've got a sale, you've got money in the bank. And so when it comes to sales, you never wanna focus your energy on that first hurdle. You wanna focus all your energy on that second hurdle because it's already hard enough to get someone to jump over that uh, second hurdle to actually get them also to jump over that first hurdle hurdle, right? A lot of brands actually make this mistake. For example, I know a ton of e-commerce brands that make this mistake every single day. I see it in their ads. I see it when they come to us uh, to run their ads for them. And essentially, for example, let's just say a vegan uh, brand, right? A vegan snack brand. Now they're investing all their energy into trying to convince people to turn vegan. Why would you do that? No, God, please. No, no. That is an incredibly costly campaign, right? Because you're trying to change. Essentially, you're trying to change human behavior, right? Why not instead focus on the second hurdle and appeal to the already existing vegan market, right? And make sure that you brand yourself, make sure, make sure that your messaging uh, conveys that you are the go-to vegan snack brand in the space, right? 
that is what you want to focus on and that is the disadvantage to that second uh, route but it's still a very doable route it is exciting you could use it as a unique selling point and also their algorithms are only bound to get better especially and hopefully uh, for tiktok ads so that is the first type of service that you can pick and now to the second service the second service is email marketing and sms marketing you can actually split the two you could be an sms marketing agency or an email marketing agency or you could actually combine both and do email marketing and sms marketing for e-commerce brands and the amount of money that e-commerce brands are leaving on the table by not having email marketing place and i'm not talking about having some mailchimp campaigns right uh, every once in a while i'm talking about having automated flows i'm talking about having dynamic segments i'm talking about the offers that would push through paid ads uh, to match that with a backend of emails, right? Um, there's a whole process, there's a whole funnel that you can build for your clients that can make them a ton of money. And unfortunately, most e-commerce brands are not quite there. In fact, uh, what we aim for with our clients is 20% of the total revenue should always come from email marketing, which is massive, right? Most brands are only doing maybe five, max 10%. And so there's massive potential in email marketing. Now, what we use for email marketing is Klaviyo. I will leave a link in the description as you guys can check it out. Now that is not sponsored. My agency is a Klaviyo partner. That is how much I like them. It's just a service that I truly believe in. It's the software, you know, we've tried tons of different email marketing softwares, but especially for e-commerce, Klaviyo is the way to go. If you're doing info products, if you're doing uh, local businesses, yes, there are other options, get response and all that stuff. But when it comes to e-commerce, there's absolutely no better alternative and you're gonna make your clients a lot of money with Klaviyo. And the reason why I love Klaviyo is because there's a dollar sign attached to every single flow, attached to every single email, attached to every single campaign, every single segment that you build. There is a dollar sign attached to it. And when it comes to services, the more clear you can make the return on your service, the easier it's gonna to be to sell that service and the easier it's gonna to be to retain that client. Another and the final great thing about Klaviyo that I'll say on, on the topic is the fact that there's no ad spend, right? So clients don't have to pay for advertising spend. Sure, they have to pay for Klaviyo and you know that depends on, on the list size, how many people they've got on their lists, uh, on their email list. Um, but they could be pay paying 100, 200, 300, maybe 500, maybe a K if the, the, the list is very big, but the returns are gonna be pure profit because they already own that list, right? It's not a cold audience. You can actually work as an agency, you can actually work purely off performance, which is amazing, right? Especially if you're trying to get your foot through the door, you know, if you make it a no brainer and you're literally just working off performance and there's no ad spend, so it's purely upside for them. Um, maybe you have a contractor that you have to pay. So maybe you have to you know, charge them a little no brainer uh, fee to also, you know, have them pay attention because you have to pay to pay attention. But essentially you can make all of your money through performance driven incentive. And that would be a complete upside to clients. So that's something to uh, think about that, uh, that in my opinion is pretty cool. And that is the second highly profitable service for your social media marketing agency. Well, before we get into the next service, it is Jaime from the future. Just to let you know that if you haven't made that great looking ugly like button turn blue, I don't know what you're doing. If you're finding value in this video, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like. Helps a lot with the algorithm and keeps me motivated to keep taking time out of my uh, busy agency workday uh, to create these videos for you guys. But in all honesty, I'd really appreciate it. And with that being said, let's get back into the video. Now, the third highly profitable SMA service that you can offer clients and make a lot of money with is chatbot creation. Now, chatbots are similar to in marketing in the sense that you can attach a dollar sign to a chatbot flow that you can create. Now, for our clients, we use ManyChat. And I think especially in 2021 and going forward, as Facebook shops become more prevalent and, and Facebook is dumping quite a bit of money into its development and into its use, uh, advertising dollars as well, Facebook Messenger is going to become increasingly important and chatbots for Facebook Messenger are not going to be overlooked. Again, one of the great things about chatbots for your clients is that there's no ad spend attached to it. So it's pretty much pure profit. You can run ads on on Facebook Messenger through the Facebook Ads Manager, but this is a bit of a different concept. Another good thing about being a chatbot agency is the fact that the barrier to entry to become a chatbot expert is way lower than the barrier to entry to become a Facebook Ads expert, right? To become a Facebook Ads expert, you need to have been in the trenches for years, spend money on ads. You cannot just take a course on it and become an expert at it. But with chatbot creation, you can literally just put your head down for three, four, six months, practice a lot and become an expert at it. <laughs> The fourth highly profitable service that you can offer to your clients for your social media marketing agency is landing page creation. The amount of e-commerce clients that have come to us and we've come to realize that their website looks very pretty, right? looks very clean, but it is not optimized at all. When it comes to CRO, it is a complete mess. And the funny thing is that that is the case for most e-commerce brands out there. Maybe they've paid a big chunk of money to a, a website design agency um, and 
the website design agency knows how to create very good looking on brand websites, but they have absolutely no clue as to the marketing side of the website. They have absolutely no clue as to conversion rate optimization. And so what you can do is number one, learn CRO conversion rate optimization, and then start offering clients highly optimized landing pages for their Shopify stores. You don't have to revamp the whole website, but you can literally just focus on landing pages for the core offers that they're driving to a cold audience, for example. The final thing that you would have to do to make this really work for you is again, make sure that your value is clear. And so you wanna quantify the value in terms of CTR, click-through rates and conversion rates. You could also quantify it in add to car percentage or checkout percentage, but you wanna make sure you quantify it. For example, if you increase the conversion rate by 0.5%, you could tell the client that that is an extra 500 yeah, new people every single month that are actually converting to customers, which is equal to 50K every single month. You get the point, you wanna make sure that your value is always quantifiable, especially if you're offering a service, it's not a product, you wanna make sure that you make the value clear. And the final service is video creation. Now by video creation, I don't recommend you physically create videos for them, you physically shoot videos for them, uh, and then you edit them and all that stuff, because otherwise you could be putting your location freedom on the line at risk. And so you never wanna put yourself in a position where you could violate location freedom. So instead, what I mean by this is they give you the assets and then you create viral e-commerce ads. I'm sure you guys have seen them while scrolling through Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, and they're very, very effective. They make clients a lot of money. And again, it's all about quantifying the value of this video because content creation is typically not a an ROI driven service, but as long as you can quantify the value of it, the value of you know having a video that goes viral or the value of a video that has a higher click through rate, uh, that could literally mean an extra thousand people every single day to the website, which then turns into 10, 10 new customers, right? And so every single day you're making them an extra 1K, right? Uh, again, that's just an example, but you wanna make sure you quantify your value, especially if it's, you know, innately is not uh, ROI driven, like for example, content creation, or in this case, content curation. And those are five highly profitable SMA services that most people have no clue as to their existence, but they're very, very effective. They could make uh, yourself and your clients a lot of money. Now, the final note that I will say on this, my approach to uh, building an e-commerce marketing agency and EMA, which I talk extensively about on my channel, which is the thing that I've been doing for the past two plus years, uh, we're literally building the, the biggest e-commerce accelerator in the world in this place. But what I want you to consider is you wanna make sure you know a bit about all these services. And the reason why that is, is because if, let's just say you're only doing paid ads, right? And let's just say you're, you're just doing Facebook and Google ads, which is completely fine. Um, there is a massive value in just focusing on that one single service because you want to be known for one thing and reduces a lot of complexity, but you should be giving your clients tips on chatbot creation, CRO. If you know that their landing page is not quite optimized, tell them about a few things that they can tweak, right? Completely for free. And so anything that can make your e-commerce clients a lot more money that is technically outside of your scope of work, they're really going to appreciate that. And they're going to keep you around for a much longer time. That is why I've got a 40 month retention rate. And that is why my e-commerce agency does pretty well because at the end of the day, we've always had this approach. So that is my final note. And that is my final point to keep in mind, which has worked really well for us. Now, if you've enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop a massive thumbs up. Uh, YouTube just finds it extremely sexy when you do that. And I'd really appreciate it. Also, leave down below in the comments any questions you may have on this video, and I'll be sure to check this out. If you haven't subbed to my channel, there's so much content coming out on social media marketing agency, digital marketing, entrepreneurship. You guys can see the depth of these videos. Um, and so if you don't want to miss any of my uh, next uh, upcoming trainings, if you want, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you never miss an update. And the final thing is, if you haven't joined my free Facebook community, The Client Closers, it's an incredible community full of like-minded, driven entrepreneurs looking to scale their agency and level up in life. If you want to apply, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description, go ahead and apply, put in your best efforts into those answers and if you're a good fit, we will let you in. And as always, hope everything's going well in your journey and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.